Here's the face of an old guy who doesn't care if he shits his pants. <laughs> you guys can't laugh through it. Right. Give me your card. So you're gonna make me use my money when you're the one that goes to work. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take your money and my money. Also, what's, what's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boys, the Wolf Pack. Your mama's favorite YouTubers. Please believe that. Shirt check. What you guys got on today? I got Deadpool. I got a panda bear eating a donut. Um, funny you say Deadpool. The, the Venom Pool Wave is starting to hit stores, so we're going to check that out, see if we can find that. There's also the uh, the two-pack of Storm and Thunderbird. McFarland is uh, still dropping hits, coming with the hits that you love. So I'm going to see if I can finally find Grim Knight or Devastator. Devastator is hecka tight. Very tight. Super tight, some might say. Before we start this hunt, if you guys are enjoying the review, drop a like down below. Helps us out a lot. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. I almost got punched in the ear on that <laughs> one. Even if you don't like us, watch us for 10 seconds and it counts as a view. So, you know, right on for that. You can't share COVID, but you can share our channel. So share it with somebody that you love. Or some of you, you know, like an enemy. Share it with one of your enemies. That, that's that's always fun. Make a fake profile. And be like, hey, check these guys out. They're really cool. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get this toy hunt going. We're going to be hitting up. I'm going to try to hit five targets. I don't think there's anything at Walgreens that we need right now. But uh, we'll probably try to squeeze in a Walmart as well. Deuces, guys. Let's get it. We're going to be returning these two figures. Wolf Dad bought them thinking we would like them. Didn't turn out that well. So we're just going to return them. Question of the day, who was your My Hero Academia favorite character? Kill Mike, who was yours? Mine is All Might. I like Eraserhead. Wolf Dad, what about you? I've only seen like one or two episodes, but I would say All Might. All Might's my favorite. Okay, let's get on with the hunt. We're gonna hit the Walmart first, try to get it before the hood wakes up. Initially, there was hope, but I've already got these figures. They're coming out with a two-pack of the Arkham Asylum, so anybody that bought this, it's kind of a slap in the face. Let's go check out the legit toy section. All right, so Walmart in Richmond, we all know about this. Only Walmart I know that has everything behind glass cases. Uh, these are coming out on clearance now, so I told you guys, hold off on them. No, no Grim Knight, no uh, Devastator. Marvel looks pretty dry. Wait, what's that up there? Ooh. Ooh. Boom, come up. All right, those those are coming home with us. That's uh -huh. that's off top. Check, check up top, guys. You might you never know what someone someone hit up there or what the deal is. Three and three quarters. No uh, no stormtroopers. That's the look of a successful hunt right there. Transformers got none ya. Ain't got nothing for ya. None ya. All right, we picked up a basket for good luck. Let's see what it do. Anything good, anything we need? That's cool. I heard that these are coming out. We found the tiny 12, 12 inch squirrel girl. Squirrel girl's here, guys. Oh, DJ Rex. DJ Rex. Oh, Ooh, they're deep, too. Look, they, they did reissues. And Marty McFly. Hubba, hubba. I'll take, I'll take two of her, please. That's cool. We got the Back to the Futures. Biff Tannen and Marty McFly. Anything we need? No, no devastators, but a lot of Batmans. White Knight Batmans. Just a bunch of Batman here. Look at how cute this baby Yoda is. Get to bed, baby Yoda. 
that's a weird looking chick. I should have got I should have got the Ronda Rousey when I when I had the chance. Now now I don't ever see her anymore. Let's go see what's cracking in Neckerville. So they're restocking a lot of the uh, Galaxy's Edge uh, exclusives. So Cardinals here available. Uh, I've never actually seen a Mountain Trooper in the wild before. Freddy versus Jason. I like the flame effect. I like it's it's a cool looking pig. I like it. Bunch of Godzillas. Bunch of them. Comment below if you guys collect the Godzillas. Tons of stuff. I know the homie Baby J is all about these. You know anything about this guy, Mike? Nope. But if Mike don't know about it, it must be weird. Mm -hmm. so, Berkeley Target on University. Nothing, no hitters. I got Luke, K2SO, and Wolf. No Devastators. No Marvel Legends today. We got these little itty bitties. Itty bitty Transformer. Oh, look, we got official Nerf safety glasses because, you know, regular glasses aren't official. No hits today. Any Devastators down here? All bat girls. If you need a bat girl, come out to uh, Berkeley. Pokey cards. We don't collect anymore, but we, we used to be deep into collecting. Leave a comment if you still collect. The boys used to get these for Christmas all the time, like the, these $50 packs. Those are like Christmas cards. Magic the Gathering. I don't play, but do you guys play? Comment below. During a successful toy hunt, it is important to keep yourself well nourished. That's what we are going to. Happy Donuts, and I'm stepping on his feet. Big old feet. Happy Donuts, guys. Berkeley. Star Wars looking pretty dry. Normal peg warmers. Nothing. Nothing I really want. Mr. J and Cyborg are here. Comment below if you guys are collecting these. I've got. Uh, Mambat. Mambat's the only one I've got, man. No G.I. Joes. Bunch of Peg Warman Ghostbusters. We've got the best selling figure of the year right there. Marvel Legends are dry. Vampire Krusty, that's cool. Mystique. Got this guy. Tales from Space. Oh, that's sick, Marty McFly. I need a DeLorean to go with this though. His accessories, he comes with a hair dryer, the headphones, vaporize your brain. That's pretty much it. A lot of Godzilla's, Marty McFly's. Boom. Marvel section. Looking kind of dry. Damn, this is like legit a waste to even come out here. Nothing. What do you guys think of this? Three and three quarters. Cool. It's cool. But I'd pass. It's a pass for you? Yeah, it look better on the display than in hand, I guess. And then our regular peg warmers. Let's see what we, let's see what we got in Neckerville. Neckerville, looking kind of dry, just Arnie, whack. For real, Modern Family has a pop. Last stop guys, Target and Panol. Help us Obi-Wan, you're our only hope. All right guys, so we checked out Neckerville, we checked out Marvel Land, nothing to report, nothing we haven't shown you already, but let's get to the studio. We'll open up the finds that we did get, right? Normally we don't like to bother the workers because they have a lot of stuff going on, but just this once, we asked if they could check in the back. Yeah, my buddy Anthony, the same guy that helped me look for the uh, Baroness on the cycle, he went to the back. Boom, hitters. Hitters. Street release date be damned. We're gonna get our figures no matter what it takes. Be gone. What else we get, Mike? We've also got 
Jacketed Wolverine. Limited ja edition. Jacketed Wolverine Target exclusive for that ass. All right, guys, let's get in the studio, get these guys opened up. Man, such a good haul. Back in studio, guys, we got a lot of unboxing to do. Mischievous Unicorn here. And Killer Mike here. Let's unbox these guys and get it going. Okay, so this is based off of Deadpool 2. We know this because Negasonic Teenage Mean Chick has long hair instead of her bald head. Costume-wise, it's still the same. One cool thing they did for us, though, Studio Light, help us out. They gave us molded guns, which, leave a comment if you know anyone who's been brave enough to cut these out and pop them out. But you get two Desert Eagles. There's some play on them, so it leads me to believe that they, that you can pull them out. But they did fix it for us by giving us uh, alternate guns that he can use and also having holstered guns. I would much rather prefer the Desert Eagles than these guns. These are generic. We've seen them many, many times already. His katana is rather generic too, but it's more... I'm, I'm going to let that one slide because that's movie-based. So you can't really go too crazy with the design on them. But you could clean up the silver. That just looks dirty. Body scope is really sick. Very textured. Reminds me almost of a certain Ant-Man with the texture and level of detail that they installed on it. Alternate head scopes would have been good. A Ryan Reynolds avocado face I would have liked. Instead, we got to make do with some of the parts we already have. Come on, Hasbro. Do better, bro. Negasonic Teenage Warhead, or whatever they're calling you these days, you're up. Um, Paint-wise, I, I like the I like her effects. Her effects were cool. Paint-wise, they went a little sloppy. You're looking real tight. You could see some of the blotching. What do you guys think of the face sculpt? Looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty accurate to the movie. I like how they gave her a little dangly earring. Uh, one thing that they missed was the nose ring. The nose ring. She's got like the bull ring. They didn't put that in. It's a cool body mold, cool paint schemes, but let's be honest, no one would be buying you if you became a single figure. No one would buy you as much as if they hadn't paired you guys up. And the other reason why they wanted this, we get the unicorn. Atta girl. Jacketed Wolverine, come on out. Now here we've got him in his berserker rage mode. This is a more suave and debonair looking. I, I, li I like the head sculpts, how they kind of raised up and gave him a, almost like a moose hairstyle. Which is different from these two head sculpts because in these, he's clearly got the patented Wolverine style spike hair. Here he is more of a lumberjack style and he does come with the butterfly joint on the inside. So you, just because he's wearing the jacket doesn't mean he loses articulation. He's still got that butterfly that all Wolverines need to have. Doing a little head comparison, here's the head scope on the Berserker Rage for Tank Top Wolverine. This thing is sick. He's like, he might even be a zombie Wolverine. I don't know. He's, that's just how crazy he looks. This is definitely a better head scope on this body mold. Swapping around the heads, as you can see, the Tank Top Wolverine's head does flow with this one as they're both movie-based. Here he is with like a demented face. Like, this is the face you make when you're trying to run and there's a line to use the toilet. Oh, I gotta poop! Here's the face of a guy who's got a turtle head sticking out and there's still three people ahead of him. Here's the look of an old guy who's too old for this stuff and he doesn't care if he shits his pants. Here's what your family photo looks like when your cousin gets out on parole. Thunderbird, Storm, you're up next. Storm and Thunderbird, it feels like we just got these guys not too long ago. Thunderbird, say that name in Spanish, tell me if you don't chuckle. Warpath, these guys are actually brothers. Don't let the paint scheme fool you. I'm not sure exactly who's older. One of them joins the X-Men. Thunderbird is even on the cover of Giant Size X-Men. But he unfortunately dies to give the new team some kind of valley, some kind of like people can actually die in this world type feel. Warpath is a much more famous character, but yeah, Thunderbird came first. Sadly, that's all we can say about him because we got no accessories, anything to go with him. He's just a placeholder for the two-pack. And here she is, guys. Everybody wanted her. Why? Because she's the Nicki Minaj of the X-Men. So they gave us two different cape and head molds, which I like. One is she's aggressive. She's, you know, in flight mode, battle mode. This is, would be a neutral position. This would be her in a neutral pose, which is weird because they gave you fisted hands to be neutral. Like, look at those teeny tiny hands. You ain't fisting nobody. Just in case you were wondering, this is what she looks like 
in her capeless mode. I really like that the thigh high boots are molded. They did a really good job. They could have just given us a paint wash, but there is depth in between there. Uh, she comes with heels, which is good because if you're going to have thigh high boots, they got to be healed. I like that they use the electricity shooting out of the hands as opposed to what we got from the last iteration. These are kind of, they, they lose their, their rigidness after a while. None of them hold the position. They just kind of, they tend to flop over too sometimes. So I gladly prefer this over this. Here's a head swap with the single pack black storm that we got about a year ago. Here's a head swap we got with the apocalypse wave. This is a really cool one. I really like this one. Here's a head swap. The neck looks a little too long. The storm heads swap really well. If you have either or, it's going to be fun to mix and match with these. So today we try to beat the street release date. I hope you guys enjoyed that toy hunt. Drop us a like if you enjoyed the review. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Follow us on the Instagram. We'll put it right at the bottom. At the Wolfpack Toy Review. Deuces, guys. We will catch you on the next one. Jump the mat.